Hey, hello guys, Brian back here. I had to put a video out here today before uh, before I wrap my day up here, okay? I had a viewer yesterday comment in the comments about something that I absolutely have to cover. Um, I brought it up a few videos ago, but quite honestly, I forgot about it. So uh, we're going to cover that here in just a second here. Uh, here's a crypto bubbles for the day. Got a few things out there popping. Rune, Ape finally is doing something geez that thing's been dead for a long time um yeah so nice to see it going shibs that thing still has a little bit further up to go um pepe that thing's just it's hard to believe what rank is that thing now 75th well okay cospa is 44th all right and if we move back over here to the charts real fast and see what's going on out here today Bitcoin dominance, uh, still right where it was yesterday. Nothing really to talk about there. Uh, put it on the daily chart and you can see it hasn't moved barely at all. Just this red candle right there. Bitcoin itself is up a whole whopping two bucks for the day. Uh, right there, two dollars. 29,400 bucks on the dot. All right, if we break this down, uh, the 12 hour starting to head back up. The eight hour uh, almost corrected. The four hour looks like it wants to roll over, all right? Started doing that, what we were hoping here, that swoop up here, but uh, this thing could end up rolling back over, back down to this 29,100 level. So don't, uh, Bitcoin doesn't look real strong right now. All right, if we go down through here, uh, today's Saturday, so the DXY don't matter a whole lot. Um, I don't believe that thing moves on the weekends. Uh, actually, it's at 102.8. Was it Friday, August 11th? Yeah, yeah, it's off over the weekend. Okay. Started making me wonder there for a second. I thought, geez, does the DXY move on the weekend? I really never looked into that too much. All right, and the total total market cap is down 100 million, and the total two without Bitcoin is down 200 million. All right, now something we need to cover in these charts real quick, okay? Um, this is Cospo on the daily, all right, which if we zoom in here, all right, we absolutely had an ABC right here, okay? If you measure this out, it's a perfect measurement. Take the top right down to this green line, all right, we have our 618 touch. If we pull this top of this down on top of that 618, right there, perfect bottom. All right, that's a perfect ABC for sure. Okay, not a doubt in my mind. ABC pattern, okay? Now what the viewer brought up, or yeah, in the comment section was uh, bearish divergence on the daily. He's absolutely 100% correct for sure. All right, just barely, but it is. And we talked about this, I don't know, a week ago that if we didn't get a higher high here that that was going to be bearish divergence and he's absolutely right so I'm glad he brought that up in the comments just barely but it is okay if we enlarge this all right and I always just want to be as transparent as I can with you guys I care you know believe it or not I care about as you guys as money about as much as mine because without being transparent and honest you know you have no viewers and you have no people that are going to want to watch your videos so um, as soon as he brought this up I commented in his comments you're a hundred percent correct you know that is bearish divergence so what I'm wondering here is this going to be a bigger ABC let's look at this all right if we blow this up a little bit and zoom in here all right what we have going on here with these RSI's especially the 12 okay that 12 that 12 isn't looking real strong all right that I'll give it that that's for sure in fact it's dipping down here all right so what I'm wondering is if we put our fib back on here all right if we go right from this level right whoops we put that back and lock that all right there we go we go from this level here that's a 702 hit right there okay so is this a bigger ABC coming in out of this all right I'm just bringing this up because um, 
the, the comment that he made and it, like I said he's absolutely 1000% correct I would pull this thing down if this works out like that you know not all divergences work out okay they just it doesn't work that way but a lot of times they do and like this is one of the strongest bearish divergences to have okay so if this does end up working out you know, this could pull this thing down to uh, 35 0.035 which if we put a line there you know I'm sorry to say it guys believe me I wish I could just uh, come on here and be right all the time but uh, I'm as wrong as uh, you know I'm not afraid to admit that uh, you know this these reading these charts ain't that simple or 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 being right all the time or you know geez I'd be super rich by now that's for sure all right this is the target area if this ends up being a bigger a B C all right so we'll see what happens here now that to uh, to invalidate this to to wipe out this whole thing let me give you a price target all right if it goes above this price then this thing is invalidated for sure. All right, if we get above, uh, let's say if we break the uh, 0 0.048, all right, then this bigger ABC is out, all right? But as long as we stay below that, the 0 0.048, okay, 0 0.048 is gonna be up 0 0.047, 0 0.048 would be right up in here, right about there, okay, which would have validated a 702, okay, so um, even if we pulled it up here, all right, let's just, let's just be careful, 0 0.049, call it 0 0.049, we hit that, this whole thing is invalidated, we're going up. All right, if we can't get above 0 0.049, all right, then uh, then this bigger ABC could be coming in. All right, there's no way to tell for sure until the price action does its thing. But that daily is, is trying to turn back up. We have the 12 at the bottom, it's still bullish. We have the eight, uh, still bullish, a 63 and a 54, but look how this is starting to curve over. That's what's starting to, really make me wonder here in the four hours right at the top all right so uh, 0 0.049 that would put us up in this area right up in here and that would invalidate this that would be we're going to higher prices if we cannot get above that okay um, then this thing is probably going down to the three and a half cent before we head back up all right so uh, might be a little bit more pain out there Hopefully it'll get over with quickly if we have to have that, but uh, very, very possible, you know. Uh, so I, I just uh, want to be honest, especially after he said, after actually had two commenters uh, comment that. So uh, hopefully we're not looking at that. 0 0.049 will invalidate that. That is right up, right about, right about there. All right, if we can get up here, even if we hit 0 0.049, we're good, we're in the clear, okay? If we stay below that, there's there's a danger and a possibility of coming down to three and a half, all right? So just wanna be transparent with you guys. Sorry uh, for messing that bearish divergence there. I apologize sincerely, but uh, look at all the sellers that came in down here when this thing came down here, that's crazy. Look at all that. Boy, just that run back up to there. They lost a pile of money. You know, from there to there was uh, almost 20%. That's a big loss. You know, every $1,000, that's 200 bucks. So, um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. I, I apologize. I do my best when I come on here with these videos. So, uh, uh, please be kind in the comments. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.